All right, we're going. So what do the people see? They see us or they just see the screen? They see us and the Oh, okay. We're like in a little corner in the in the bottom corner of the screen. I could probably pull it up on my like this. Oh, Okay, that's cool. Oh my god, these overalls look so good, guys. Yeah, I feel classy drinking white wine out of a, a mason, jar. mason jar with a handle to it at that. Oh man, this, yeah, this I is forgot really to get on mic nice. though. So how, how does this game work? So uh, this game, it's a it's a shooter game uh, where like instead of killing other people being the uh, objective. It's the person who covers the most ground with whatever paint, uh, with, with whatever color they assign. Matches are only three, four minutes long. Uh, everything is convertible. This is my character. Look at you being a black man. You know, white, the white characters kind of look like school shooters to me. <laughs> Good point. So, so is, uh, that, is, he a, is that a black man or is like a, it's a dark like animal? No, he. Well, they're half, they're half kids, they're half people, and they're half squids. They can kind of change back and forth between the two. Okay. So you'll see this coming up in the game because when they're squids, they like can swim through your own color ink. Okay. Uh, but everything you can, uh, you can change everything. You can buy clothes. Uh, hats, new shirts, and new shoes. Uh, everything has uh, helps out in some aspect, takes away in other aspects. So you can really, that's a big part of the game, is really just playing, Got just it. playing dress up. So, let's see. Oops. Okay, there we go. You're not locked into a guy either. You can change how he looks. Let's see if I remember how to do this. Hmm. You can change his gun. I'm going to start with my favorite gun. Now, what is the objective? Uh, in Splatoon 2. Did you already go over that or did I miss that? Yeah, I just cover <laughs> the most in a regular battle, it's to cover the most the most uh of the ground with the paint. So it's it's fifty fifty. So this game is get things wet. Yes. Okay. <laughs> 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 I just wanted to make sure I knew. There's a couple of different modes <laughs> up there where I'm going now. This is what they call uh this is what they call uh salmon run. Where, uh, where a bunch of guys come at you at once, and you work for prizes and whatnot. In there, they're in the main zone. You have regular battles, and you have ranked battles, and the ranked battles have different objectives. Right now, it's splat zones, which you have to control a specific zone. But we'll start with a regular battle. This is how we do it. And we have a few minutes kind of while we're while we're searching. Uh, for those of you following along, I'm experience all in capital letters. <laughs> I was just Tim Cornette for a while and I I I kept on getting smoked and I, I didn't like that I didn't have a cool gamer name. Alright, so our color is this teal blue. Tim, so what is your uh, gamer name again? Experience. Yeah. In okay. capital letters. Uh, Caps are important. Yes. My. I live my life in capital letters. You see, so <laughs> the more ground I spray... That is true, actually, Tim. So this is like <laughs> Tony Hawk Pro Skater, except you just paint stuff instead of do tricks. That's, yeah. That's, what it, that's how so I do you it. So you, could, you battle him, or you guys got to just like paint over each other? We got to like, paint over each other, but if you splat them, you get... You know, they, you pretty much get them out of your crop. Uh so they like they just splatted me. So you can't come back for a while. Uh, it takes a few seconds. Oh, okay. Not a terribly long time. So everybody has a different strategy. It depends on what weapon you're using, what you're comfortable with. <laughs> Let's 
It's not a pink there. Ah! I was right in enemy territory and nobody to help me out. Okay, dude. All right. A lot of times if you, uh, say if you're up in the middle of the night, uh, you're playing a lot of Japanese teenagers, which feels pretty good. <laughs> oh, my God. So you're... Where are they at? Oh, you guys cleared them out? Yeah, I think so. You run out of ink? Oh, shit. Oh, it's like a capture the flag style game. Yeah. Yeah. I got gotcha. you. If either of you want to take a jump at this, go up. Feel free to, feel free to jump in. Yeah. So we left off. We were talking about how drugs are good for depression. Yes, I don't agree. You don't think so? Uh, not in general, but not the drugs. Uh, no, not not the drugs you're talking about. The how, hallucinogens? How, yeah, I, I know we're gonna go into total. Yeah, sure. Well, yes. have you have you uh, have you ever looked into what when the micro dosing of LSD that people do? Have you, have you heard of that? No. Uh, people it's just doing a tiny little bit of drugs. Yeah, they do a very tiny amount of LSD every day uh, to kind of like alleviate depression. Like, but like a tiny, tiny amount, like. Like imperceptible levels, like it's a vitamin, basically. Yeah, like a vitamin's worth of LSD. So what does it do for him? <laughs> Puts a little sparkle in life. Whoa. <laughs> a little spring in your step. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, they say it's like good for their, good for their depression, good for getting out of their head. Which I mean, you can, I can see why. I love to get outside of most things. Oh, I don't know. I'm not. I'm against anything that's not marijuana. See, that's I'm kind of in the same boat, but that's kind of why I'm okay with mushrooms because it's kind of the same rules. It's, it's yeah, it's like a natural. It's a plant. Mm. It's like a, that's naturally punk, occurring. Yeah. You know, it's just out there in the world. Oh, see, we smoked them. Nice. Oh. Really graffito tagged up that. I don't know UFC slash X Games arena event. I mean, that's that's where it's taking place, right? Yeah. This game takes place in the '90s. Yeah, that, I think that's the whole thing, is that this game takes place in the 90s. Hmm. The apocalyptic 90s. <laughs> the post-apocalyptic 90s, <laughs> where everyone has been transformed into squid hybrids. Squid-human hybrids. In a land beyond humanity, <laughs> I'll be there for you. I didn't get that reference. That was a friend's know. reference. I didn't expect you to. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, the the words. I get the words. I, okay. Okay. The cadence was kind of off, though. You didn't sing it. Well, it has to be in a post-apocalyptic one. Mm. <laughs> like. I get it. I'm with you. I'm what with is you. the sound of eight hands clapping? That's friends. Oh, see, we're not going to do it, are we? Because it's squid. Right? Yes. They have eight. They have eight? Do they? I don't know if squids have eight. They have ten? Chat. How many? <laughs> <laughs> How many arms does a squid have, chat? You ask, oh, you ask the <laughs> chat or a guy named Chad? Either one. Whoever wants to get back to us. Fair enough. You know what? I'm going to walk in the stores. I'm going to... I have 17,000 uh, coins. I don't... I bought the Octo expansion, which is like a series of puzzles and stuff. But I've gone into debt within the game, so now you I can do that, that area. Uh, do you have a job in the game? That's what Salmon Run is. That's your job. <laughs> you gotta go put on. Hold on, so you can actually go into debt? Oh yeah, yeah. How was that? Not like literal debt. Just no, like no, but like his, debt. yeah, like you. His, okay. your character will owe money. Yeah. All right. To I'll show you a credit union or something. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what happened. There's I you go into this <laughs> where you play as as the opposite of a squidling, an octoling based off of an octopus. Got it. So you go down here. It's this little. Why do everybody have this over their heads though? Like they, you write your own things. And yeah, you just... can write your own thing. And actually, there's a lot of weird. There's a lot of weird culture. Maybe I Rustin feel like I feel like this can look should it up. be. I feel like this game is like what a young Asian boy thinks it's like in the city in America. 
Exactly. <laughs> exactly. This is <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. How many men are how many characters on this are gay? That's why I'm not. Uh they're not characters. There's, I think it's just a bunch of gay kids cuz this is 2018. Mm. They're I like guess. A bunch of kids are like, I'm here and I'm queer. <laughs> I'm gay. My Pokemon are gay. Get used to it, hate monger. <laughs> oh my god. And you're like, whoa, I'm I'm thirty seven. And they're like, sexuality is binary. And I'm like, slow down there, Austin. That's you still? This is me. This is my uh this is my octopus character. Got it. Uh they give you a fro option, which I like because okay. it makes them look like like an octopus shaft. Uh, okay. <laughs> I, I have no c- control over the color. <clears throat> I am eight thousand eight hundred sixty yeah. whatever in debt. So that's uh. So that guy just asked, did, did you just get, did that guy just beg from you for $8,000? No, he was hustling me. He was like, you're eight, you're $8,000 in debt, asshole. Oh, oh so, oh. so he's coming to collect. So you see, when you play one of these levels, it, it seems costs, stressful. It costs. <laughs> it wasn't until I went into debt. It was yeah. kind of fun. It cost $200. <laughs> I loved this game until it ha- became a job. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. And he now, has to pay $200 just to get on the train. Yeah. So now you're, you're roughly uh, 9600 or 60 over. Oh, I don't have a uh, weapon in this one. Oh boy! So you're what now are you doing? jumping, dodging. Oh boy! Oh shit! This is the one that sent me into debt. Well, you're now <laughs> dodging. <laughs> this is really hard. Just dodge. Just keep the camera. It's dodgeball under. the game. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh motherfucker! Oh you! Oh my God, Tim! Lose so much Tim, money keep, in this game Tim, life. Tim, this keep exactly the camera in front of what your threat is. Don't you see if you look. No, it's, I can't. It's, it's motion controlled. It. Oh, don't don't be so excited and turn your body, sir. <laughs> That's sir. very hard for me. Oh man, sir, don't turn the, your body, sir. Hey, don't let the pressure get to you. You gotta keep the threat in front of you at all times. This threat is a whole oh. screen, so you can see him, and we can move left to right. Oh, look you at just this. Wait. There you go. There you go, Tim. Keep in front of you. Yeah, man. Keep. You, 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 you ain't not, you're not zigging and zagging, Tim. Uh, I also probably need to turn into an octopus a little more than I have been. It's like, okay. All right. Motherfucker! All right, I'm getting out of oh, here. Oh boy, How I'm you, getting out of here. So every time you you die, you got to pay another two hundred. Yeah, and that's how I got to be eight thousand in debt. Oh my goodness, how I'm trying. You know, some people went and got an art degree with that kind of money. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you will notice that all these guys are deep sea creatures. That's like one kind of guy, and that's another kind of guy. I feel like this is what Parappa the Rapper's world is like. Mm-hmm. I can agree to that. I, I do believe that that's true. Oh, my God. We should do a Parappa the Rapper one week. We should scrape up a copy. Dude, I, I have a PlayStation. It was for that, right? Or was it for... Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah. They probably have one at the exchange. It was like... Well, it was the same thing as like Guitar Hero, and you had to take to tap the buttons for the words. Yeah. It was so hard. It was so whack. It was a very difficult game. Parappa the Rappa. But I'm, I've always been bad at those rhythm games. You know, DDR uh, is fun, but I, oh boy. That game is difficult. So now I used to have a friend in college who actually, he downloaded a DDR type game for his computer and would do it with his hands. Like he was like that 
like much energy where he could do the DDR. He could do the other game that was like the other four corners. You remember that one? Yeah. And then he would play d- rhythm games on his laptop with the, like the arrows. Hmm. Uh, oh, oh. That seems like a beautiful mind kind of thing. I don't know what happened to him. It was <laughs> before Facebook. He, he lives you know? in the mountains now. His Facebook came out my senior year of college. Hey, and so it's like, it's like, if you, you know, it's like we were, we were ro- <laughs> lived across the hall from each other in uh, sophomore year. And I was like, man, what was his last name? Ah, uh, well, Facebook. <laughs> don't. If he sends you any mail, don't open it. <laughs> it was Andy, maybe. Okay. We saw cake together in Columbus. Ooh. The weapon they've given me is like kind of a long range charge em up kind of thing. So I've got a. I've got a plan of clip. There are glow flies. Once they start glowing, b- buckle up. I don't. I don't actually know what that means. Oh shit. Oh these guys. Oh fuck these guys. What are you doing here? Uh, I'm killing guys. The whole objective is to get golden eggs and deposit them in these. Not shit. Not all of these. Yeah, don't guys, get shit. Not all of these guys have golden eggs. Uh, a lot of them. That is a golden egg. It's a lot of them. Yeah, that's that's kind of what makes this part hard. They really, they really come at you. Oh yeah, see that golden guy. He has some of those golden eggs that we want. Uh, oh, we are, those, are really behind those, those like, golden eggs. Were those mice? They're like little fish guys. So, can your teammates hear you talking? No, no, you'd have to set up a thing. Uh, with I mean, they can if they were smart enough to be on this. Oh, so gonna, you're gonna, you guys are going to fuck around and all running behind. No, that's time. actually what's kind of nice about Nintendo is that they don't let you talk to these other terrible people. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm, um, no, you, when you guys all deposit your eggs, you guys are really talking to each other. So you don't really know. No, you, that's actually part of the strategy. You have two ways of communicating. You can say this way and booyah. So if you need some help, Booyah. you, you really got to pay attention to, like, that's actually kind of a fun social experiment. Like, what if those were the only two things you could this say? This is what I love about Nintendo. Nintendo thinks about gameplay, like, what's it going to feel like when this happens in the game? Right. You know? And is that, and how does that jive with our, like, core thing of, like, joy through play? Also, one of your teammates gave you a new gun. Uh, just a new uh, new round, and they randomly assign you one of four weapons. See, now they've given me a new weapon, but now it's foggy. So now they've thrown that at you. Oh, boy. Oh, oh shit. You'd be. Okay, there's there's a guy. Oh, it, looks like, it looks like some of your buddies are like snipers. Oh, is, a, is this some kind of boss? Yeah. Ah, I'm a, Oh, so there's only one guy left alive, and only that one guy left. Two guys left alive. Revive us. Revive oh me. Yes. Booyah. Uh... Okay, this is not going well. well there's so... one minute left. We have no eggs in. This is this is uh... kind of a, an emergency situation. God. So, <clears throat> so John, what is it like to watch a white man go into debt? <laughs> Uh, gratifying. <laughs> you know, that's got to happen a lot. You're the only homeowner here. <laughs> oh, that's, that's not a good thing, though. My shit's fucked up, too. I'm proud of myself when I pay bills on time. I still celebrate. I do, too. It's very new for me. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm like... Oh, I'm, I made rent. Yes. No, I'm really trying right now, and I'm... Now you make me feel a little silly for congratulating myself as much as I do. <laughs> oh, it's not a good thing. Like, just because you did something you're supposed to do, that you knew you were right. going to do the whole time when you got there. Right? right. Tim, you can be a success and a failure at the same time. Right. It's like yeah, I finally... Much... There's a lot of ways to fuck up life. <laughs> hey, guys, I learned how to tie my shoes. You're, you're 48. <laughs> well, you know, it took a while. I figured it out. Uh, okay, Splattershot's Jr., This is my weapon. Yeah, I'm in See, the- when it's your own color, you can move through it. When it's not your color, it gives you guff. <laughs> that sentence didn't feel so good coming out your mouth when I first heard it. 
<laughs> what, what was that? Uh, the sentence when he started it, I was like, oh, okay. Let's see what this. Let's see what the man overall says about color. Let's see how. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be open-minded. Let's see how this sentence ends. That's all I ask. <laughs> You've got boss salmonid, salmonid, salmonoid, I believe. So y'all pronounce the L? Salmon. Salmon. Yeah, but it's to funny say, to say salmon. It's so embarrassing to say salmon. I get, I get. That's one of my biggest pet peeves for people. Salmon. Yes. It's funny. Uh, it's wrong, but it's funny. It's you know? so wrong. Salmon. Salmon. I've gone out with salmon. girls who've said salmon. Sa- salmon, and I've like just checked out. You know what? I don't mind that because that shows that they're it's readers. It's cute. It's cute. Yeah. What? That, that shows that they're readers, even though they might not be surrounded by intelligent people. Honestly, yeah. I don't mind if, if the reason somebody mispronounces something is because they're saying it like they read it. That's fine. Man, I lived in Kentucky. I, I had to find a piece with it. Like, <laughs> what is it? Niche is like the stupidest word. I, uh, I'm naive. It's got dots in it. Naive is pretty bad. Uh, niche... And niche is like okay, I get it, but I don't either way, know. however you're using it, you're pretentious. <laughs> you know, forte and fort is pretty much yeah. It's not forte, from what I've been told by smarter adults. Well, my good friend Ryan, uh, his last name's Forte, and his production company for a little while was called Fort Knox, and I was like, that's got to be really frustrating because that because it's like, which is it? <laughs> Well, I mean, I heard it when it's like somebody said, that's not my forte. Somebody was yeah. being a dick when they first pronounced it like that. And people believe that it's supposed to be forte. And it's, I was told it's later forte. on in life, it's, that's not my fort. That's not my fort. And I'm like, they both sound stupid at this point. Yeah. How about to say, I'm not good at that. Or I don't Bro, enjoy Bro, I can't that. handle that. Yeah, like, that's not really my thing. That just keeps all no, the I'm words not, no. very third grade level. <laughs> Everybody gets it. So you didn't make it this time, experience? No, no, we just... (laughs) It's just funny. It's like we're watching Mech Warrior 2, but you're like one of the guys who's just like, oh, boy. You know what? My my team just lost $1,000 on that mission. My level just retained, so that means somebody else dropped out. They couldn't handle it. (laughs) Fucking just like a real job. This... This squid squid person this squid man is pulling himself up by the bootstraps. Now this is like, Squidman? I so am not great now? with these long term kind of like aim them up kind of weapons. Oh, like that, shot you if had. I were in the military, that would not be my role. I would be front lines first to die. That is where I would be. So you got the money shot gun, huh? Right, the only thing yeah. I've gotten from a uh, chat is a uh, big thumbs up. Hey, thanks, big thumbs. <laughs> <laughs> also, if you you can also you, wherever you walk, also is paint. No, I'm shooting as I go. Oh. Are they coming out? Oh, they're coming out. See, but with with my type of gun, I am actually the most equipped to take care of that guy. Oh, we got eggs. We got eggs. Get those eggs. You know, I have two eggs uh, with rye toast every morning. Ooh. I had two eggs. I put spinach in my eggs now. John, are you still lifting? No, not yet. Depression beat my ass. I figured I'll get back in shape when Just I Just get some to. 20s and some 30s for the home. That's all you need. I got 20s at the house. That's about it. Yeah, just like sling those around. Eh. I hate no matter what my shoulders this are. This depressed homeowner. Listen to this depressed homeowner. I mean, it's. I mean, that's owning a Cleveland happens, house, though. I get. Did you, <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much why. Did you get reassessed? Mm-mm. Ooh. I tried to refinance it, and it was like, yeah, it's not worth what you're wanting. Well, subscribe, like, follow, share, Patreon, Venmo, <laughs> Cash App. What's the other? Uh, uh, Bitcoin, Dark Web. How do you sell those fucking grenades? Also, the waves come from behind you, though. Uh, did you win that one? Well, they call them each round waves. So. I think yeah. you did pretty well there. Uh, we survived. <laughs> so well, that's all you can do. I don't Isn't think it? there's anything weird about this one. Just straight ahead. Oh, there's a guy. That's mine. 
Yeah, might as well. I don't know why I asked that question. Because <laughs> we're programmed. It's just weird to like receive a phone call and it's like, hey, I'm sorry, I'm on a Twitch stream right now. I'm playing video games for the people. Professionally, <laughs> but also amateur. Right. When's the next Mario Kart? Uh, you know, I don't know. I haven't scheduled it yet. We still have a Switch to give away. And, like, Winchester's totally down. I Kevin, like switches. I want to switch. Uh, Kevin, the projectionist, is touring through the summer with a band. Uh, I, I, you know, I think he's going to get too famous. Yeah, yeah, he's a pro. Uh, I mean, he, he is going to be home, so. And I do see him he's a lot. He's real he good at that stuff. Yeah, no, he's, uh. What's no, I don't understand what. Green, he, how's Green Rain coming down? What's that about? It's this guy. Uh, a lot of these guys, they're different kind of what they call the boss salmonoids. They have different kind of attacks. But they're the ones who have the gold necks. So you're a, you're a, a squid person. And you seem to be at war with some sort of fish people? That's it, exactly. Yeah, like the this, in this part, the salmon run part, we're collecting golden air, eggs for a bear. Wow, okay. It's you know what? Handle. As long as they stay alive. I, oh, yeah. How about some death? So no matter what, you can't stop those grenades from fucking y'all up. Fucking y'all up? Uh, no, no, you gotta get, either get out of the way yeah. or blow it up while it's on his head. Sorry for shouting. No, it's... Get this chair. She get a ball. No, those are dumb. Still work. Okay, I'm not doing anything, and I don't see anybody. So that's never a good sign. Oh, man. Is the server dead? Did we lose connection to Skynet? Okay. So they're, uh... Keeping these eggs really far away from the target over here. Not this guy. I want to see him. Oh, yes. These guys you can revive. You got to come over here, man. Okay. Okay, got to run away from that big beam. All right, all right, all right. No, 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 no. Our stream health is excellent, just so you guys know. Oh, that's okay. great. I was actually kind of worried about that with the uh, with the internet that the game requires. Okay, I'm getting out of here. I'm getting out of here. Go, 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 go. 12 seconds left. I need somebody behind me. Okay, come on. Come on. I just need one other motherfucker to not let me down. Oh, you dumb motherfuckers. <laughs> This is motherfuckers. This is what happens How when you depend you? on other people. Oh, man. How'd they fuck you? Uh, they didn't get that. Uh, there were three eggs oh, there. Oh, right there. Nobody was around to get it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Ugh. Ugh. Hmm. This, is, this is why you work in factories. Oh, my God. Don't Tim, have that American is, edge. This is depressing. You're playing a life game. <laughs> it's like it's, it's a little more lifelike than Second Life. I haven't played that yet. I never have either. I assume it's not fun because I heard about it on NPR. Hmm. It's probably good for old people. <laughs> like, oh, Second Life, okay. On this one, I'm young. And I married Brenda. <laughs> the backstory on this fictional character. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like um, it reminds me a lot of Will Smith in Independence Day. How so? Like, uh, you know. Just like regular NASA pilot. You know, just like, uh, wakes up. <laughs> 
See, uh, in my a, mind, he's like a child soldier. Has the right punch of <laughs> an alien in the face. Child soldier. Wow. Yeah. He's young, but he doesn't take any shit. It makes like sense. Like that one little girl in uh, he's scrappy. In Game of Thrones. Arya? Uh, well, yeah, Arya. No, the one that... Uh, the girl like, with no face? Uh, Arya. The, the queen. The little girl queen of the north. or the little the, <laughs> Arya. Oh. No, not Arya. That little girl. Like from the later season. She's like 12. That's, uh, that's, oh, oh, yeah. Like she's like Lord Thistlebottom or something. Yeah, like, like Lord like, Thistlebottom. Or like Lord... She's like... she. Uh, yeah, whenever they're I mean, I like can look it up I in mean, the yeah, you should look it up right whenever here. they're in those scenes where they're like in a council of the north. There's always uh, that badass north. little girl that's like, badass. we should go. Fuck oh, them yes, up, I do know you're talking about the, towards the later ish, the later uh, season. She was um, one of the areas of the north. She was a queen. OK. Lady Liana, Lady Liana, you can I can soften up his look a little. I'm keeping those shoes. Oh my god! It's like I, I don't need your whole life story. Just tell me about the character. <laughs> Mormont. That's oh, is she right. the? Is she the House Mormont? Because that's the one. That... The thing happened with game. Hey, look at us being relevant for season season fifty eight, part four of the Game of Thrones season. Season coming, 58? Yeah, it's coming up next. We're going to get the last, we're going to get the first half of the first part of the first episode of the season finale. I'm confused on that sentence. Because, like, uh, you know, however, like, we're getting the second half of the last season. Oh. Soon. And Is I'm that why they had. Like, just like they never, like, they always want a little bit more. Everyone wants a little bit more of the story. Oh, and it's like, hey, if there's enough money, we'll do it. This last season was it seemed shorter. Yeah, because they only did half of it. Yeah, it's just like <laughs> then they say we'll see you guys in 2019. It's like, yo, this is they already this shot this it. Is, it's like give it to us. It's kind of soon. Sorry, dude. sorry, Chad, give to that go super Game of Thronesy on to you. me. <laughs> it's like you guys know the whole year went by. And we'll just wait for this show to come back, and we did. We are. I watch Insecure now and I'm happy. I haven't watched that yet. How was I you know, am not the, surprised. The season three, I'm not excited for. <laughs> well, I'm not surprised about Tim not watching the the chronicles of a fictional black woman and her struggles in dating in the L.A. First season is really good. Okay, I don't watch the show about anybody's struggles in dating. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. It's not. It's most like the show is aimed for black women. It's on HBO Go. That's on HBO too. It comes on. It comes on HBO Everybody regularly. HBO. I do. Who is television? Me. Crazy. Yes. But it's homeowner sh- cable television. Yes. How else are you gonna watch these shows? They're not on Netflix. They're on HBO Go. What's the difference? You can't I have a you friend can- who has cable. Oh, so you, you can't just buy HBO Go. <laughs> you can't just buy HBO Go. You can now. It's like HBO like live. I don't know. They say they have it. Oh, oh yeah. This Actually, I, I just got it back. There's a there's a lot of HBO that I got to catch up on. Or the package though. You get the package with Showtime, HBO. I I just don't do the cable. I I hate the cable companies. How do you watch so sports expensive. games? I'm not a sports guy. Yeah, I, I'll watch what's on network. But, but TNT has all the basketball games. <sighs> okay. Okay. That's great. That, oh. That's great if you, you like know that what sort though. That's you should hey, be good the for you. Way to have because the cable company. Hobby. You got to pay. Why do you have to pay for when all you care about is sports? Why do you have to pay for cable and then pay on top of that for all the sports packages? You yes. can just go to Twitch like, TV. You're the one getting fucked over more sports. than anybody else. Yeah, I mean, I know I'm getting fucked, but I mean, it's, I'm paying for entertainment. Well, why can't they just have like how much would your bills go down if they just had like sixty dollars at least sports streaming? Oh, well, I also watch TNT and USA. They, they cost more. What's like, on uh, USA? Nothing anymore. Up all night. <laughs> Is uh, it what? Wings. Monk. No, it used to be. All, uh, all of those things are on streaming now. I actually just got into Monk. Thomas Hayden Church was on another show that was really good. I'm going to look it up. It had, uh, I watched White Collar. Uh, I used to love Wings. I'm telling you. 
Sorry. Uh, Sorry to interrupt. You're fine. <laughs> what else had... Um, <laughs> So the good. funny show, the um, funny thing that Limitless, a TV show that CBS had, uh-huh. is, is exactly white. It's just it's white collar. <laughs> it's the same thing, only they just took the Limitless movie and added a pill into the whole equation. But it's like, this shit is stupid. So, okay. And I still watch it. Well, that's all right. Shooter. I watch Shooter. That's on... Uh, Ned and Stacy. I haven't watched that. That's the show. Oh. Uh, that Thomas Hayden Church was on. Sorry. I remember that being a thing, but I don't it think was I good. watched it. And then uh, Deborah Messing. She was funny. Ballers is on HBO. I like that show. I like uh, the ads for it. Hilarious. I don't care I don't care what the show is. It seems like it's a lot like Arliss. I uh, like Arliss. It's kind of like Arliss, but it's, it's more like Entourage with football instead of movies. Okay. Well, see, Entourage is stupid. I kind of wish <laughs> The Rock would stop making Arliss and start being the president. I don't think he's ready to be. President I think he yet. should just. Make, I think he's the only one who I just, can beat Trump. I just want him to be Bruce Willis. What you mean? I want The Rock to be Bruce Willis. Like it's Bruce Willis is old. Let's have a new Bruce Willis. It can oh, be The Rock. Just have him do shows that don't like movies. They're just like you know what's going to happen now. He's an action guy. You know, just let him. Just like we just want to see that smile and that body. <laughs> I don't know how far I can go with you in that that ride, but I will. Come on, say, John. You have a whole bit about The Rock. You I know and Batman. But I, I he, wouldn't actually. I don't want to actually see his body. Like, but that granted, smile. He doesn't do any action. He doesn't do any action on ballers though. It's kind of fucking a waste. Like you do. Oh, you, then let's just watch Terry Crews do anything. <laughs> I mean, he's probably tired. Well, no, he did skyscraper. It came out. He did like rampage. All them fucking shitty movies came out. He just didn't. I heard skyscraper was pretty good. I downloaded today. I'm gonna watch it when I get home. Did you see Rampage? Can you send no. it to me? Is that a thing I that can. people do? It's a, it'll be a, a How does the internet P4? work today? Remember when you could just share files? Hey, remember that? <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. Hey, thanks, Napster. Oh, thanks, Zuckerberg. That's, a, that's very close, but I don't, think, I don't know if you got it. I think I did. Pow. Oh, yeah. See, the strategy. Booyah. Uh, this is my strategy. All right. First, first round, if I can make it to 300 points, which this time I did not, so... Um, I'm getting pretty crazy. Uh, is that I go straight down the middle, and I just try and make my way towards the middle, and I take take that ground. So and just try and make it to 300 points. So if I respawn by that point, that's when I start filling in gaps, and I think it's that filling in gaps is where where you win the game. Level 27. <coughs> oh shit! Somebody's better than you, according to the game. Yeah, there's uh, there's there's so many excellence. Was it Tim? Experience. 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 Uh, That's different. But <laughs> youth keeps getting me because uh, I just don't have the time. Like when kids. What's up? You better bogart me because I'm, I'm babysitting. Uh, when kids are, uh, you know, when they're into something, they're like, all right, I'm going to go spend You're the next 16 hours in my room <laughs> playing this. And That's how I feel about Fortnite. I tried to play <laughs> Fortnite one time, and I said, fuck this shit. I'm not going to fucking rebuild shit. I just want to shoot things. And it, yeah. it wasn't my type of game. It wasn't for me. Oh, man, this might be your game then. Because I'm a, right now I'm, um, I'm fucking with. Uh, sports games more now. I loved NBA Jam. Uh, for the Mario Kart Blood Feud, that's that that's the game that a lot of people recommended. Like Blood they're like, Feud? please do, uh, please do NBA Jam, which I wouldn't do. I would do. I just like I said, I don't know shit about sports, so I would be. Plus, it is the sports games are a lot longer than this. Like, every round of this is, like, three, four minutes. Sports games take so long to yeah. play. Like, a quarter, you can't really cut it down, and it still be fun. Like, if you make it four-minute quarters, it's going to suck. You could probably do that, though, if you had, like, league play. Yeah, they do it like NBA 2K. I see they they just jumped on themselves. They have their own league. They put it's even on. They stream it and everything. It's streamed on NBA 2K Live. 
league and have they had Adam Silver, the fucking commissioner of the NBA, was talk to the guys who just play video games for a living. <laughs> the NBA is really trying to keep people happy. You know, the last sports game I played was EA Boxing 2000. Before it was Knockout Kings and before it was e- Fight yeah. Night. And because uh, I was living in Las Vegas at the time. And I... Uh, Tim. Tim. Uh, Vegas? Yes. I, I, I lived in Vegas when I was very young. Not very young, but like a Teenager? 20. Early 20s? Early 20s. I, I turned like? 21 and it was awful. I was so poor. It's like... What Vegas. are you doing in Vegas? Uh, you know, a uh, a, lo- a local comic from around here whom, uh, you know, who I still talk to sometimes. Uh, but he's like, man, Vegas is going to be like the wave of the future. And I was like... The next New York. The yeah, next Chicago. Yeah, so I was like 20 and I'm like, Vegas, that's... Let's go. Let's, Let's go. do Let's it. Let's do it. it. Let's do it. I'm, I'm, in it. I'm in it to win it. And then you get out there. Yeah. And then I'm like, okay, this is a little tough. What made it tough? Uh, well, I mean, like, it's just comedy. First of all, there's no upper level because, you know, you, they don't, like, scout for the comedy clubs in the open mics. <laughs> like, they, they're just, they come from L.A. or New York or whatever bullshit booking agency that, uh, that books with the comedians. And even that job, once you get it, I've come to find out later. It's not a great job. No, like, you know, it's it's like working a cruise ship. You got to be like so basic. Um, I mean, who's going? So I just wonder who's at not like if ooh, if, I'm in, if I'm in oh, Vegas. We got, we, I got, that I got paint roller thing's a motherfucker. Though. That looks yeah. very like, yeah. They, they if I'm it. in Vegas and I want to go see comedy, I feel like I'm going to see like a huge star. Right. It's anywhere though. You say thing about you can say the same thing about New York. You're still underground guys. I guess that's true. Yeah, yeah. Like I were, think it's be- like I think Vegas actually has a scene now because Vegas is a yeah. different city than when I lived there. But like yeah, on the uh, on the on the festivals and stuff, um, you see somebody come from Vegas. You're like, oh, okay, all right, all right. Yeah, it's like, but like at the time, it was. There was comedy, and there was a handful of like guys trying to make it, but in all the the bars, you're always competing with slot machines. Oh, so yeah. like, no matter what you're doing, there's like bells and like dinging going on. I can I can see the fun of that though, because it's almost like you're at a circus. That's you know? not fun to do with comedy though. No, no, that's. <laughs> well, I don't. I mean, I'd rather do comedy in no, a I mean, library. A viewer, though, I'd rather do comedy in a library where everybody ha- can't say shit. And it with a PA, then do it in a casino. I've done casino shows here where you know we don't have every casino we have here isn't like card game casinos. A lot of them are just straight like slot machine casinos, and those are the worst because it's always an older crowd there. Like nobody young plays slot machines to get their money. Man, for a, a little period there, I was doing a lot of Indian casinos in the Northwest, and that was like the most. I describe every aspect of being a comedian as the most soul crushing, but Indian casinos are on a special level. Uh, you know, I like they're they're far out. They're far out from each other. They're like not close to anything. They offer you like the barest minimum. It's they're in bumfuck Washington or like wherever and it's not like it's just a bunch of angry people like people watching you against their will like they've lost everything and they're just gonna soak that last little bit out of you what if you protected a paint roller person where are they at they are went by you already okay well i'll look for them yeah i've kind of given up strategy because i'm a little Hi. Yeah. Yeah, I can tell you got away from your. You described your strategy, then you didn't do it anymore. And I'm. I, it's, it's yeah, I'm talking and like just, just straight you, shooting. You're, you're oh shit! I've only shit. got 184 points. That yeah, is. You're repainting shits you've already painted over. Like you're, <laughs> you're, like, you're well, walking the fudge <laughs> section of the show. Uh, so, John, how was the rest of your date? Uh, Viewers from last week. It wasn't so much of a date. 
But it did. Um, off screen. Ghosts. That's fine. Uh, we but went you to see some fudge. Yeah, we went to go see a comedian named B Simone. How was that? Uh, she's from Instagram. Hmm. Uh, I didn't know what to expect because I knew I knew she was female friendly, um, but that they came out in like packs. It was it was packed. It was so her second sold out show because she had a seven thirty show. What does she do on Instagram? She just does like rants, and her character always has a catchphrase that says, "You're my boyfriend." Like she talks to the single black women of the world, which is a, it's a fucking a lot of them. So she uh, <laughs> she speaks to them on Instagram, and they fucking adore her. <laughs> and I she packed it out two sold out shows. She's a really good comic too. I, at first, I didn't know what she was gonna just do her. Instagram thing, but no, she what actually had like? her own. She had her own shit. She did, and she just had a T-shirt. It's like she did it all for merch. It's like it's like a comedian being in a movie and making money off the movie, but then on the stand-up is like, bitch, I'm not Bob. Like Bob Saget is not Danny Tanner. Yeah, right. And she had that type of like she is actually a comedian. She's solid oh, as cool. fuck. So she's just like good at Instagram. Yeah, she's she's fucking in the new age of being good at Instagram and being a solid writer and performer. So she's like a Jasmine. Man, kind of like She makes we are Jasmine right like a person who just got a phone. Like Jasmine can't hold her draws. Jasmine's good, but Jasmine ain't that. Jasmine's too young though. Jasmine's like 23. This motherfucker's 28. She knows mm. what she was doing. She's been living life almost 30. She's been Out disappointed by life. But she does look better too. Being attractive, you get opportunities. I wish I was attractive sometimes. Yeah, I, say, I wish I was attractive <laughs> sometimes. A girl actually told me she usually dates ugly niggas. Oh, we're niggas. tall. We're tall, though. That's my that's my go-to. Like, this is all I have. Yeah. But a girl told me she usually dates ugly niggas. And I'm like, that's not really what I want to hear. <laughs> mm. like, not this time. That's what she's saying. Yeah, I'm like, tell me right now. It's like, are you trying to tell me that you're, like, taking a pay cut now? Or, like, you're just stepping out there a little bit differently? This is normal? Like, I got to tell what's you. What's happening? I like, I'm cute not, for ugly dude. I do not like the noises women make when Mike Head performs. Oh, dude. I, would I, just, I, would I just got just a Mike say. Head story, right? I hate it. <laughs> it's so funny. It's so, inside baseball. For those of you guys oh. at home, Mike Head is a comedian, and he's just a good-looking He's 6'6", six, six for one. Uh, like, he's good-looking in a way that women just can't fucking handle themselves. Dude, you know how many times I've dated girls? I've, like, I tell them I'm a comedian, and they're like, oh, my God, do you know Mike Head? Because oh. he's from my side of town. He's from Bedford, and I'm from Warrensburg, so we got a lot of the same friends. <laughs> but the worst shit is in the world is when a girl asks, do I know him? Because I can't lie and say I don't. Right. And he'll interact with me at the worst time. He'll talk to me on Facebook every, like, five months. So it's like, fuck. I got this cute motherfucker. Like, don't talk too Yo, long. I got like, to say, I don't see it. Um, It's a picture he put up where he tells me he wanted to be a part of Bad Boys 3 that I had to make fun of him because it was, like, a good picture. I'm like, I wish I had a better shape. So I could post my thirst trap online and get girls to like it and tell me keep working out like it's some new shit. Like, I didn't know he, what I was this doing. This is a regular-looking motherfucker. No, not that one. He has another picture. Go to his pictures. Like he no. posts a picture where he no no, no that's pre, that's profile picture stuff. Oh my god. Go well, that's scroll, what's on his fucking the No, scroll down, scroll to his page. Scroll to his page and you'll see Mike Head has a picture with his shirt off, glistening with the chest hair. And oh like, oh the Jasmine callback one? Or whatever it's called when you like call somebody out? I don't know. Okay. Well Jasmine like posted that, be like Mike Head be out here. Listen. Oh yeah, yeah, that one, yeah, with her dick print. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Jasmine had a little dick print. That that made the group chat. Our group chat. That's, that's oh, the that. one. Oh, that. Looking like a looking like a nigga who's in slavery times. Like nigga, <laughs> like, <laughs> he looks like he's, he was made for manual labor. <laughs> it's like get the fuck out of here. Like, I saw this and I was like, I was like, I thought it was a. Uh, who's the guy in? Uh, Watch. You make sure you don't get in trouble. He's please, the, he's please the bad be guy careful. In please Luke be Cage careful. First season, from Luke Cage. Yeah. Oh, oh uh, Ali. No, uh, I know who you're talking about. But I can't I say know. his first name for shit. Like it's not Marsupial, but it's something like that. <laughs> Mar- <laughs> yeah, Marsupial. That guy. It's like Mar. Mar- that is some weird. It's hard to say it. But yeah, you talking about? They do have the same nose. Mahershala. 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 Yeah, M Ali, man. Mahershala. Yeah, he doesn't like him, but he Marshala's not in any shape though. No, I I gotta tell you, he's not like, in any shape at all. He just he's tall too though. Like, one thing he got, he is tall. But no, Mike is six fucking six though. Like we sat, we stood next to each other one time, and I'm like, man, I don't like this. 
I don't like not being. Like, I don't like being towered over. And he yeah, tried to have the I, worst man, thing. I, I, the only time I can relax is when I'm with my friends who are like six, six five to six seven. It's so. I'm like, weird. oh, finally, I don't have to be the tallest person. I'm here. fine with it. I'm fine it's with being the tallest. So person. uncomfortable being in the audience. Like while women, while they're <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, while they're like loins are bursting. Like I can hear the noises your vagina is making, madam. That's can you please? Funny as fuck. Can you please tone it down? Hey, I I gotta start performing in suits. I know it's gonna happen. Tim, we do not kink shame here at World of Men. Okay, and so if you like, if you like to see comedy, it's not a purely kink. for how. How it's it, how cute the guy on stage is. No, it is not a kink. It's the opposite. It's their loins yearning for him to loin, put a baby we, in we them. Don't, we don't <laughs> loin shame here on the world of men. <laughs> no are, loin shaming. They are like, I want that man. I want that man. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. Because he didn't know where to go. That's why it's funny. I, was, I, I tried to see the laugh yet. I should let him go a little further. If I laugh too soon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mike knows he's he, he know the, the worst part about Mike is he doesn't know when to not be humble, so it comes off obnoxious. Cause oh man, yeah, Mike, you in the, that was a cool thing you had that movie that you were in, in that speaking role. Oh man, you know I'm just trying to do my thing. No, really, fuck you, okay? Because everybody in that movie from Cleveland just had no Why do speaking role. Want roles. everyone to be an asshole? No, it's not being an asshole, but embrace the fact you're good. Like stop this downplaying of oh, yeah. of. Of greatness, like if you're actually accomplishing something, embrace it. Everybody isn't. That's why everybody feel like they are I'm doing something. Doing my thing. That's how I feel, but I'm not doing anything. So I'm not doing shit. I get more upset when I get looked over for shit, though. It's like, hold on, what? I'm not. I'm not, I'm not mentioned for anything. Okay, this is fun. I thought I was doing pretty good. You're doing all right, John. I'm doing okay. Hey, look at this. You're this two-time guest. Hey, welcome. Am I the first <laughs> two-time guest, though? You know what would be good for you. A well, project. you're actually technically a sub for Wilson, so I don't know if I can That's fine, man. Things. I'm here, though. I'm going to like, if I'm going to count them like uh, let, SNL. Let uh, me know if you want to try playing. Not Tim, this game. This was. Tim plays. Yeah. No, I'm just. Not this game. If it was a game I actually knew how to play, I would not embarrass myself and play it. But this game might embarrass me because I Tim, would die so fast. Games. We can't be bad at games. I'm really not that good at games. You're good I, at this, though. You own the system. That's that, better than that either of us can. Yeah, I, I've, I've had more practice. But it feels weird to be the only one playing the video games. I feel like a listen. Spo- if I feel get, like a spoiled child. If we get who, to like, I don't know. Had, let's say a hundred followers, then we'll play Super Nintendo for real. I'll bust it out. You know, oh, I got good. it. Okay, you heard it here first. If we get to a hundred followers, well, I'll bust right now. That's I got a fucking Super Scope six no, no. in the How basement. All right. Many? So if you want to play that, like weird, we had nine or at nine followers. Yeah, I just want to get to ten. But that's I love hilarious. We got two views. I mean. For some reason, we just can't entice people to come watch us play video games. Listen, if previously recorded, we could have Rich Evans. Whatever his name, other Although we talked, like... Jack? Jack. Guys, Jack you don't even know the level of production value. If you got, like... There's three microphones and a light. Like... If we wanted to camera, feature somebody, if you had, like, a good stand-up set you recorded this week, we could throw it up there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're, we're looking. We're looking to sell out early. Yeah, that's all I want. What are you trying to push? You got a show, Accidental Fest. Yeah, that's a comedy fest coming up this Monday. Grog Shop. If you're local and you want to come yeah, out, what, to kind of, what kind of restaurants or uh, sandwich places do you guys want to hustle for? Uh, I like. Um, I don't know anymore. I used to like um, the Bellas, but I don't know if I would do anymore. Treehouse is a great burger. I haven't been there in a long time. I have never eaten at Treehouse. Why? Well, I used to live in Tremont, and they weren't. They didn't have food. And then it was like packed, like constantly. Or how long did you live in, in living? Uh, Tremont. I lived Tremont. there from 2006 to 2008. 2008, 2008. I don't. I don't. Say, I don't remember if you had um, Cookie and a Cupcake yet. I think I started dating the girl who got me hip to them until 2012. I don't know. So yeah, that's why I started going to Tremont because of the cookie and the cupcake. Have you uh, have you guys eaten at Bruno's? I have not. Oh, where? Bruno's on West Forty First. No. Guys, it's the best restaurant in Cleveland. What kind of food is it? Italian. I'm not an Italian guy. 
Yeah, right? I like this I like d- the basic Italian stuff. This stuff is made by this dude's mom. Uh, like hand makes all the noodles. It is amazing. And who the fuck is not into Italian food? Uh, I, I, I get lost in that sauce, baby. Uh, the sauce. So- I mean, Bruno's is really excellent. Uh, there's an Ethiopian restaurant that's also excellent. I kind of I love have Thai. Been meaning to go favorite. back to Empress Tatu. Thai Thai. I like. Um, is that how you pronounce it? Thai Thai. Thai Thai, or you know, uh, Superior Pho. Or fuss. That's like white people's favorite shit to say, though. You guys love that shit. I'm, I'm a vegetarian. You Superior can't fo. really. You can, they have veggie fuck. Yeah. Oh, and their banh mi, though. Their banh mi sandwich is one of the best sandwiches. I like Indian sandwiches food in more than anything. Indian food's my so shit good. still. So good. Such a good banh mi. Uh, yeah, it's so expensive. That's what well, Indian food? Yeah. yeah. Was the spot on Cleveland Heights? I mean, the spot But in you're Cleveland taking some home, Cedar. you know? I mean, it's yeah, not. that's true. Chula. Is it a spot named Chula on Chagrin? They're cheap. It was like it's like the Chipotle of Indian food or of Middle oh, Eastern food. Oh yeah, that's uh, I've passed by them, but I don't. It's very like it's like generic. The spicy is just barely flavored. It's not like it really like your nose won't run. Like I've had, uh, was it tiki masala before? Chicken, whatever. Yeah, that's made my nose run from Indian restaurant. I like yeah. That. Going to Chula, mm. it's just like, hey, this this. <laughs> this lemonade will do me just fine. Uh, what's that place <laughs> on the far end of Lakewood? India Garden. They are probably the, the best that I've had. India Garden is uh, that's a tasty one. Man, you know when I go visit my parents uh, back east, uh, there's some good good spots out there. Where? At? In uh, Baltimore. I like Baltimore. I used to love Baltimore food. It's the first place I ever had a burger with a one on it. Mm. But, it was good on burger. Yeah, I didn't. But here, you know, we don't really do shit besides ketchup and mustard. I went to, I was in D.C. for something like 13, and uh, my cousin got us all burgers, and he put A1 sauce on them, and it was great. Mambo sauce is overrated as fuck, though. They love it out there, but. What's Mambo sauce? Uh, it's a D.C. thing where they love, or that area thing where they put this on, this some sauce they put on chicken. It's not that great. It's their stadium mustard. Pretty mm-hmm. much. I like stadium mustard. It just—I mean, Cleveland has really good food. I didn't think so until I left and like went other places and realized that their food is not shit to me. But that's because I've had better food in Cleveland. No, Cleveland's good food. Yeah, I mean that's honestly part of the reason I'm still here. Even as far as like fast is- food, and I'm not, I, I don't really have it anymore because it's useless to a vegetarian. But Mr. Heroes is incredible. Like you should really take out of towners there. You know what, Tim? I have. A I live across the street for from one. I don't. I hate Mr. Heroes. Really? Tim, I'm going to give you this coupon for a free 7-inch. I I, I, they don't have anything vegetarian. I kind of wish Mr. Oh. Heroes was racist. Like, the way we can stop eating it on purpose. Is I mean, it just saying this, health-wise? It's made fresh for you, baby. But nobody, like... Oh, my God. The it's Roman always Burger middle- is the single I had unhealthiest one. thing in Dude, fast food. Dude, me and my no, sister would say how much we hated life to eat one. Like, cause I live right next door to one, so my sister would call me and text me saying, Hey, I don't care about life right now. Get me a Roman Burger and come over. <laughs> and we would eat a Roman burger and watch Judge Judy like pieces of shit, people. No okay. offense. No offense if anybody watches Judge Judy still. Yeah, but no. it's, it's such sounds, a shitty it show, though. It sounds like you were eating it and exactly it's right. Yeah, like it's such a shitty show to watch. And we were like, we're trying to wonder if who should get, who should be like innocent or who what should happen. <laughs> Given well, all of a like, fuck. Grilled lettuce, like yeah, the just, Lex in your, yeah. With, with fucking waffle fries, with cheese, a cheese cup. It's just like, it's the worst, but it's so bad for you, and you know it. It takes off at least two months of your life, and you still enjoy every piece of it. Oh, yeah. Because the fucking fries, they make <laughs> they make uh, Chick-fil-A seem like the sellout version. Because yeah, Chick- Chick-fil-A is the sellout version. And it's like, oh, you think you're better than us? <laughs> <laughs> I have stopped eating McDonald's, though. You know, eating out, man, it's like, I was just telling my girlfriend this. It's like. Oh, it, made me feel depressed. See, that's why I'm depressed. Because I had a girlfriend before. Uh, Yeah, being lonely <laughs> sucks. But uh, being- no, pressing his face is like, I don't know how to say this. Yeah. Tim, you've been through what? I was engaged. 
And I had another long term relationship, and you still have been, you know, weathering the storm just like Mario, nigga. Like this is amazing. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, like <laughs> I think a big part is like you just like. Like I'm glad they can see your outfit. Like nigga, you're really dressed like Mario. Like, you are uh, dressed like Mario as an adult. Oh and you're playing my Nintendo. God. I'm sorry, I'm a roast you. I'm hot. <laughs> Look, I'm I'm. A, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing. Stuff. I'm not mad. I'm not mean. It's just, I, it's a natural thing to roast people when you're high. Man, there's a reason Mario wears this. No, but nigga, you, you saved the princess. He's like the dude who wears like, utilitarian. You know, how guys, you know how guys go to like the basketball games wearing an actual athlete's jersey to watch him play. <laughs> he's playing a fucking Nintendo, and he's dressed like Mario. It's like Nick. I mean, like. <laughs> And it could be because I'm high, but I'm like, you probably, <laughs> you, you were ready for this shit. No, you, no, I'm, I, uh, I'm just like Mario. I we are fanboys <laughs> here. I got to yeah. own it. World. This is, this uh, is cosplay. Man. I'm sorry. It just, you probably didn't even think of it the whole day. You probably just had him on. It's like, he's overall. I'm like, no, the red shirt does not help. <laughs> yeah, no, no, it doesn't. I, <laughs> not playing video games at least. Oh, man. If you had a fucking hat on, that would be the worst. Thank God you didn't say. Oh not, man, yeah. let's get. Oh, wait, you gotta have on. the beard on. You gotta have the beard. Yeah. You alright? You got a fucking red hat with an M on it. <laughs> Is it red though? It has to be a red, goofy whatever those hats are called. I don't even know. There's brims on them. You know, I just saw my uncle Mike wear wear overalls. To a wedding. Oh, wow. He was like wearing a suit, like a tie, like a shirt and tie underneath it. And I'm like, that's that's badass. That's. I think everybody has that one relative that just dresses like they're over whatever your opinion could be of them. Because they are, <laughs> and they always have a story that could tell you like they have accomplished more than your puny little life. That is so better. <laughs> It's not. It's not better at all, actually. I told you I had something for this. <laughs> I, I think I brought Mario Odyssey. If we want to switch, how do you play that? What's that one? Uh, that's the new Mario game. It's a kind of like a new version of Mario sixty four. It's I'm all great. for it. We can check it out if you want to see it. Yeah, let's go. It's for actually it. like yeah. one of the great. It's like because this game is cool for the first couple minutes, and then it's like it's. It's boring as shit. It's probably boring to watch. You guys, we got 10 followers. Really? Oh, we did. We did it. 10 followers, guys. All right. That's a tenth of the way to Super Nintendo Super Scope 6. And honestly, it's it's tough for me to shoot off wisecracks and fight. <laughs> <laughs> I am I am very unlike Spider-Man in that way. That's funny. <laughs> Has everybody seen Avengers? Can we all talk about that yet? Or yeah, we can't of course. Have yeah. Yeah, spoilers. I, Skip to hour two. I am so heartbroken about at the, at the fucking fade away. Everybody had to do a little turn to ash. I still don't like it. I watched Avengers today, and I still don't like it. I feel like it, it would have been better. You know, the problem is, is that you can't in a movie... You know, a comic, you can do the pop, you know? Like, everyone's gone. Everyone's gone. But, like, in a, like you can't do it in a movie. They did two different like, movies, Ugh. though. Ugh. They did, like, um, have you seen Ant-Man, Wasp? No, not the new one. It carries over. That's all I can tell you. I forgot about that one. Uh. I think a lot of people did, because the other ones, they were so big, it's kind of like... So did Paul Rudd die? Who fades know. away at the Ant-Man and Wasp? I don't care. I don't give a shit. What about you? No, go ahead. I'll still watch it at some point. Yeah, I'll still watch okay, it. Okay, well, they, their mission is it's to try to, like, go fun. get... They try and go back to the Astro place where he went to the first one where he went, like, extra small yeah, and yeah, came yeah. back. So the homie's about that element of how they could change the world by making guys go that small and fix the problem in the cell and then come back. Oh, wow. So they do that. They complete it all, and they're going to go back to try and do it. They did it the first time to try to save one person. And they're going to go back now and they have a plan to fix everything in the world. And the same he goes in, it's the Wasp. It's the it's um, Michael Douglas or whatever I think it is. Whoever did it with the beard was in the first one. Yeah, Michael yeah. Douglas. Michael Douglas. And then it's um, Michelle Pfeiffer, is his wife, who was the first original Wasp. And 
they all disappear while this nigga's stuck inside the Astro World. He can't come back. Mm. Uh, did you see where the game case went? Oh yeah, hold on. So they didn't kill him. They just they just have him stuck in Astro Place with nobody to come get him back. Thanos? No, Thanos is this Thanos. stuck there. No, this is where Ant Man stuck. But what does that have to do with? Because Thanos snapped his fingers and it wiped off oh, half he the d- world. But he doesn't exist. Basically, like you can't wipe out something that doesn't exist. Yeah, so when he wiped out people, it's like he wiped out the three guys who were waiting to bring him back, and Ant Man's into the, like he's the size of a, a molecule. Yeah, and it's like, well, he's gone too, but not really, but he is. Mm. Yeah, that well, that's kind of interesting. Oh, it's a sad movie. Cause I love like, Marvel. It's very sad though. Like, I hate sad movies like that. Where like no matter it's what the fuck you do, there's gonna be more forever for the rest of our lives. That's Dude, I saw Black Klansman. Us- Black Klansman was the same thing. It's like well, after, don't I want to see that? So I know it's like after everything, this is still America. You're like, fuck you, really? Yeah. Don't remind me. <laughs> I I seen too many black pro black movies though. Like it's not really healthy to see this many pro black movies back to back. Like blind spotting, and then saying, um, that's funny. Well, I mean, isn't it good that there's more pro black movies? That there's like, well, they're not even pro black. They're like saying, "Hey, racism's real, y'all. Don't forget it." Here's seven dollars to watch racism. Who wants to watch racism today? Thirteen dollars if you're in California. Eleven if you're in the middle of the country. And if you're in Ohio, seven. Come, come pay to watch racism. <laughs> <laughs> Well, what's that like? Tell us more. Uh, it's like watching the Holocaust as a Jew. And it's like a documentary. Oh, it was like, we call that social studies. Yeah, exactly. It's like somebody trying to tell you about the 1940s. You're like, yeah, this is like a period I want to hear about. <laughs> like, no, no, it's, it's a great time to hear about it. You should really want to hear about the, the 1940s. It's great. No, it's not great. For who? The fuck? My grandma got a tattoo from that shit. You know, we can't, we can't have tattoos, you assholes. The fuck? <laughs> I'm sorry. Now Jews. it's called the History Channel. Yeah, but no, Jewish people don't get tattoos. So you fucking just they, that's that's just most that's not the most disrespectful thing, but it's it's <laughs> the, the it's murder. the it's top it's number two for a religion to say, hey, we don't like to do this to our bodies, and you're like, nah, we got to still mark you. Why? Because we're gonna keep track of you. I'm in a concentration camp. <laughs> like you didn't give me fucking jobs. You just had me wait. And then lie to me about oh, watching up. Man. Like, I got dirty as fuck waiting for this shit. <laughs> Sitting in this goddamn hot-ass box. And you say, oh, it's like, you guys ready to shower? Fucking yeah. Guys, <laughs> by default, Mario is dressed exactly like me. <laughs> Which is great, man. <laughs> Dude, I got to fucking take a picture of this. There this is go. Yeah, this is so fucking wrong. I'm so happy you, you wore this outfit. Oh my god, I got it. This is gonna happen. Cause I thought the hat was gonna look stupid, and now the hat makes sense. Why'd you cut it off? Don't run from this. Oh, you know what? I'm just switching, <laughs> I'm, I'm just switching over to my game. That's all I'm doing. Like how dare you try to run from you dressed like Mario? <laughs> you foreshadowing no, bastard. No, here's what. Here's what I decided when I wear the, when I bought the overalls. Fuck you! I want to wear overalls. <laughs> no, I, I I get it. Like, what if I? I don't have to apologize to anybody. You've worked like, hard all your life. You can wear overalls well, if you man, feel like. Man, it. it's it's so functional when I'm like working with the dogs. I hook the treats right here. I can like put a hood, cl- clap a leash right here. Got my cell phone. Got everything I need right here. Uh, you See, know, the thing, Tim. It. Here's the problem, Tim. You're a, you're you're a freelance guy. You're an at work all the time guy. And mm-hmm. The thing is, is that you gotta switch outfits. You know, it's like this is my second outfit for the day. Exactly. It's like like if I'm gigging, mm-hmm. you know, I'm definitely for ev- everything is a different pair of shoes. You know, so if I, so I'm definitely wearing different shoes. If I'm if I'm after the gig, definitely changing shoes. Probably socks. Maybe pants. Uh, I do get all day wearing underwear, but uh, <laughs> I spend extra on those. They're ex officios. Shout out to the sponsor. Not really. I don't wear pants until I leave the house. Yeah, yeah. I'm definitely in my underwear and and like some t-shirt that uh, doesn't see the outside. 
I don't know. I got a lot of free promo shirts I wear. Yeah, exactly. Matter of fact, this shirt wasn't supposed to make it out. <laughs> it was good. It was a regular. Well, but now, like, see, that's what happens. It's, it's a that, shooting they, shirt. Then though, they like, but then, it, then they turn into the ones that just like made it. They stayed crisp. And it's like, fuck it. I mean, I'm not going like, to. Yeah, that's a red shirt. If it's a red shirt day, that's the shirt you're wearing. I might be trying to work at another place doing something like I did at the other place. I come ingesting jugs, so I can't talk about it too much. Yeah. But I might be doing it again somewhere else. And it's like, I would actually wear this while I'm there. <laughs> be the total dick about it. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Yeah, a jazz band. Look at this. Mario CT4. Where is it? Look at him. Look at him. This game is that, you know, it's like Mario 64. He can throw his hat and he can become, like, his hat become like, can those I, things. Can know? we address the fact that in that city hall party, there were numerous African American people, and I appreciate Nintendo for doing that for me. Like, just Shout out Nintendo. Yeah, just like, let's represent us, you know, a little bit. Just throw us in there. We're in every city. Hey, that's how capitalism works, right? We're in every city. Yeah, nerds are every color, man. Exactly. Nerds, new N-word. Let's let's make this a thing. (laughs) Let's make it a thing, man. Uh, Would you say it's nerd? Let's say he's a nerd. (laughs) It's like, man, let's all all be together, man. Make the new N-word nerd. That way everybody's covered. Well, we'll just say what the N word is and mean nerd. Somebody put a funny uh, meme about the N word. Somebody, she said, um, my little cousin did a spelling bee and was required to spell N word. N word. N word. N word. <laughs> and he spelled N I G G E R. And I'm so done with this little boy. I said, that's the funniest shit I said. <laughs> Granted, I say it differently because it is thing, but somebody will say N word. But you gotta say it. But you gotta make sure that D lands. And you gotta like, and, and how inward. old is a person hearing that? You know, inward. Nobody says like, yeah, inward is the thing. Like, your word is inward. They're like inward. Okay, you trying to be politically correct? I got you this. Be cute. I get it. All right. Yeah, in was I, the guy white? <laughs> was the guy saying it white? Oh no, it was a meme. So I'm like, it's probably horse shit, but it's just oh, funny. Of course. Oh, the one I love is the one where the actual white kids had spelled uh, negus. What? Negus is N E G. U.S. is an African word for king. Negus. Whatever. Negus. Well, Negus how they said is, it. Grand Negus is is the uh, is the person who runs the Ferengi Empire. Oh, no, they said Star Negus. Trek. Like they they really was like the, the lady said Negus, okay. and he was like Negus. Okay, Negus. Okay, Negus. Can you use it in a sentence? <laughs> <laughs> you better That's use it in a sentence. He's he's about to write. He was so he was so gassed up when he got it though. He like N E. G U S, correct. Ooh! I'm like, all right, you, there you go. <laughs> no, you just felt it <laughs> like a cop would. Niggas, right, uh, niggas. You mean brothers? <laughs> I don't know why I heard cops use that term before. What's that? Brother. Uh, uh-uh. I. I so, avoid cops though. I don't hang out with them socially. Oh no, they just, they just ref- they say it so often. You know, he's a brother. Um, he was related to another guy. <laughs> no, you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, is, he it, wasn't. He wasn't I, his only male uh, can I ask, sibling. Hypothetically, just like let's let's just run this out. If he were to be like, you know, he's a black guy. That's fine. Is that? But like, why why can't you say that? You know what I'm saying? I don't know why they don't. Cops could easily not be racist. I don't racist. know why there's code words. He's like, he's like, yeah, he was running. He was, you know, a brother. It's just say he was a black guy. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They could easily do that, but then they wouldn't be able to be uh, degrading. Okay. Yeah, mm. it seems like degrading people. Oh, like when they call you son. Cop. Like cops call white boys son. Yeah, I but that's son. Many they're times trying by the to. Police. They're trying to level it out. When they say it to us, it's usually boy. Still. Yeah, what? They just, they don't go out in style. You know, the other day I felt really bad. I was. <laughs> I was like, uh, yeah, see, that's how white I am, I guess. You're like they they didn't upgrade their references. No, they did not. I mean, you would think that there's like a human. I mean, it's still like I'm, I, I I'm, know, I know, I monkey still bothers people. Oh yeah. Oh, why would you? Say, that's worse than boy. I think white people look more like monkeys than black people, though. We're we all, all monkeys. are monkeys. Yeah, we're all monkeys. We're all monkeys. You guys removed. Not saying you two, but no, as a I'm as your color. Actually, really close to monkeys. You all guys have removed, monkeys. but you guys have removed all of that and just. 
it's like whoever got here first made the rules. And they're not gonna, it's not going to change. It's just like that one thing that's like, I know words that don't mean what I, they should mean. Yeah. I feel bad because, shit, black women got it worse than me. Like, I just got to deal with the stationary ones. Like, the this is across the board black thing. Yeah. They get added. It gets Bitch gets added to their shit. Well, I <laughs> it's like, it's God funny. damn. I, I feel like it's funny that the idea that, like, it's, like, that wokeness is, like, silly. And I'm like, well, all that wokeness is is just, like, knowing that some people got it worse than you. Yeah. That's not the worst thing to know. Yeah, but it's about two weeks away from being something, just something else to beat somebody else up with. Well, that's what, I mean, you know, Tim, everybody, it's, hey, somebody's going to shout about anything. Right. Uh, I mean, it's not that you shout. But once, but like, woke was okay at first, but then it became, it got, oh, uh, Tim. Tim, you just committed suicide. I was. Uh, is this it, from your debt in that previous game <laughs> that you were playing? It became a mockery. That's the only problem that we didn't really, you know. It's just, at this point, just say you're conscious of other people's problems because just be technical. Because trying to be cute with words doesn't really pay you off. Know, Obama for us. called that empathy. Well, I'm I'm trying to be empathetic to people, but it's hard to be to white people. I've actually heard white guys refer to three black women at a table as nigger bitches, and I'm like, man. Oh. oh. And then oh. he tried. No, wait. He got. He tried to get cute and call them NBs to shorten up the, the sting. And I'm like, are you? <sighs> but no, the women can hear him. And we're in Virginia. So it's like, how do you react to this? Like, this is not south, but it's not north. It's just like in that place where, depending on the number of the population, yeah. or the percentage of the population, you just shut the fuck up and you ain't hear it. But I'm like, shit, that's kind of like, it's kind of rough to say just out loud. Yeah. Like, if you have that thought, maybe keep it to yourself. If no, you have it, try it was not five, to have it. It was, five of, it was five white guys at the table, oh, and one man. of them just said it. <laughs> Look at it. Yeah, like, that was, it was like, he said it so, like, and they just, they heard it, and, they, you know, they they could feel that it wasn't a moment to be honest with him <laughs> back. You couldn't respond to him. Like, you like, yeah, he got numbers. He got safety on his side. He can say whatever he wants to you. And anything you do right now is going to be overreaction. <laughs> But I mean that's that's I'm glad you guys feel the empathy from that to know that that happens to people still. I mean, yeah, you know, because you know it's like I'm a hillbilly, so everything I see is so damn avert. You know, it's like because racism isn't like I hate when I hear white people say black people racist too. No, they're not. What does that they're, even mean? They're just bitter at the fucking fact at the hand they got dealt. They're not fucking racist. No, they can't do shit about it. We can't. Well, and it's you. like the problem is even even it's like even if you were to take it the step even if that were true it's only because they have a reason to be scared of white people because we suck historically like, you know you're not racist if you <laughs> it's not racist if it's a reaction if you actually have something happen exactly. to you as you can say yeah i don't really trust a group of them i met a couple of good ones but <laughs> i don't know about seriously six or seven of them together kind of scares me that's the problem with racism too many white people together. <laughs> Too many white people together. Yeah, we need to have at least like, like the same way to do schools where every class should have twenty students to one teacher. We should do the same thing with white people in groups. It should be for every four, throw some kind of minority in there. I think, I think that's actually the Democratic Party plan. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you for that. I'm so mad. I'm so mad that you're right. <laughs> You know, I don't understand. Well, I'll be well, honest. Elizabeth Warren, I guess. Listen, yeah, like I understand we, that I'm a white person, but what I don't understand. You're not a white person. What are you? Where are you from? I'm, I'm Jewish, so it's w- mostly white. Oh, I'm certain. Oh, yeah, you're Jewish, dude. Fuck that. You're Jewish. Don't try and fucking no, jump I'm, off I'm, that. I'm, I'm fucking white. But people get mad if I say <laughs> Your family was on a boat one time it's coming crazy. somewhere. Uh, No, it's, it's funny because my sister looked it up, but my family was in like the early. Because my family's been both sides. My one my one side came over on the Mayflower, my mom's side, and my dad's side has just been in Kentucky for 400 years. They came over as indentured servants, which, you know. That's how you got here in that's those how we days. Got here, yeah. So it's like pretty much slavery, but like a little bit less. There's a contract. There's a contract, <laughs> so, and you understand the terms of the contract. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, like. That was it. But so. I just don't understand why what color you are matters. I just don't understand. Like, what is it? I it doesn't mean, make any only, sense to me. Because we're tribal little monkeys. I was watching. But, like, I mean, we're all basically I, the same shape. 
I was watching a documentary. <laughs> yeah, but separation is always it's human nature. I, I was watching a documentary a couple it. weeks ago, and this one monkey matriarch died, and then there was like a faction that split the monkey pack or monkey pride or whatever it is in two pack of monkeys. Like so, like one they pack call of it Congress. Monkeys, oh. Like one half the monkeys exactly. <laughs> uh, one half of monkeys like took the northern half. One half of monkeys took the southern half. And then the northern half of the monkeys came down and just slaughtered the southern half. They're like, get off of our island. There was enough for everybody. But We're over these like, monkeys. That was like basic monkeys. So it's like, shit, what, what chance do we have? It's been happening for years. Though. Think about all the land in the, country, in the world that has been colonized by different people. You just know, it's funny how many people there are. And we still got room for more people. No, we don't. I'm sure we do. No, we might, we might have room for them. We don't have resources for them. So I think we do. How? You know, poor people. You know how many poor people are in this country alone? Yeah, it's uh, just we haven't eaten the rich yet. We would have actually plenty if we just destroyed suburbs and built up, like they do in Star Trek. Yeah, Star Trek. Well, I don't think people want to build up though. People need space. Farmers need space. Yes. No, we got. <laughs> no, you need a park. We need a park. That's what a park is. We all share it. Mm. Yeah. We try to share spaces, and then white women start calling police because they don't like people being there that didn't look like them. Well, you we're going to deal with those white people. There, there's a trade-off because I've lived, I've lived both ways. So I like this is where <laughs> as I'm white like, people. So I've, yeah, uh, I've lived as both. <laughs> we're well, country deal with country this person, place. city person. <laughs> city people are smarter because you just got to work that much harder to keep up. You got culture. You got more access to stuff. Yeah. But flip side of that is, is that you got more people. There's going to be more crime. More people trying to get over on you. Uh, like through a Trevor way. You know, honestly, there's nothing wrong with trying to get over. I can't blame him. You know, if you go uh, to the south, people. I mean, it's rough out there. People mind their business better, and I think like people are, you know, they're m- more even tempered, but you know, they're not as smart, and that leads to a lot of problems. Because why? What well, you're as smart as you have to be, so. That's true. I realize that a lot of people only are as smart as they have to be in life. Doesn't only everybody a few. have to be the smartest? No, a lot of people don't. They don't think they have to be smart. Like ask, the, ask somebody the last book they read, and sometimes it's like, what? Oh, Why the books, fuck would I, I be reading I books still? Books I'm out of school. I yeah, so many oh, books. I don't go in for that stuff. Oh man. You know, and every ounce, of everything they do is to train us to work and then go home and repeat till we die. Oh man, I'm not into that at all. <laughs> I'm like, let's stay up and play video games and talk about it and put it on the internet. Right. <laughs> I hate you. I hate you all. <laughs> you know, the, this is basically, you know, you know what, guys? We're having sleepovers every night, but then we go home and we have our own bacon in the morning. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is my 10th grade, man. Go play video games. <laughs> I'm sitting over Steve's. We're going to play Tony Hawk. Okay. That's funny that games came out and people, cultures chose different ones. Because we, we would play Tony Hawk. We didn't really give a fuck about Tony Hawk. We all played it, though. Play Road Rash. Which Road is Rash is a fun game. That was fun. Uh, but we all gravitated towards sports. Madden and any basketball game that came out when NBA 2K was cool. NBA Live was fun. NBA Jam. I can never get a handle on the controls. Yeah, that's why we love it, because it's, it's actually skill. It's funny, because shooting a ball in that fucking game is so precise. It's annoying. What, are you, like, nudging? Well, you got like, to slide it and stick down and let it go right when he's at the top of his jump shot, like a perfect jump shot, oh, or he's not going to okay. make it. It's like, get the fuck. I don't want to be this good at this game. I want to pick up and just be Steph Curry and just shoot from wherever. This is very dark. Is this Harry Potter version of Mario? Yeah, it's just a spot where he uh, messes with a dragon. Oh, dude. Mm. So tired. You know, where can I, I know where I gotta go to play some of these things. What a sad dragon. <laughs> yeah, like, what is he tired from doing, though? He just, like. I, I, I've i already defeated him, but there's. Uh... <laughs> that poor dragon. Oh, you already beat this part. Yeah. 
You can even fake it and like do it again with the other one. Well, I I have to go to a different part. I, we can go to a part I haven't done yet. Or uh... darker side. Oh, got the dark side of the moon in the darker side. Yeah. Look at that cuteness. I uh, darker side. I I'll, I'll try it. I am. It's actually pretty hard. I would be cool with the dark side. I just saw. I looked over and I saw Cody Cooper post a picture of his of his naked stepson. <laughs> that kid is um, like because I, I did some work with his dog, and that kid is in his underpants a lot. Yeah, he's at home. That's what you do. I like people are over. Put on pants. Yeah. I mean, I didn't say anything. It's not my. I guess I'm saying oh. something now, but like I'm always I'm always thrown. I'm like, all right, let's. But you know, like, it's because we're old, right? <laughs> Get some pants on, maybe that. Boy, it. cover up your channels helps over. That's funny. I do realize the older I get, the more I do care about shit that doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're trying to figure out what you give a shit about, like all the time. Yeah. What the fuck? Okay. I guess so. That's what they do now. I get, I get, like when kids fall, I get, like, I feel bad. <laughs> what is the song? So this is like the white version of Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> it's like a full world full of, like, 1920s entertainment shit that we just couldn't do yet. This is Mario, baby. Yeah, like I'm. It's funny because his name is Mario and he was brother Luigi, but they didn't overly like disrespect him with the Italian stuff. He's not like embarrassing as an Italian. Oh, see, I think if you watch the Super Mario Brothers Super Show, they took care of that. What do you mean? The like, I think it's on Netflix, the one with Captain Lou. I don't know if I watched that. Uh, it might be a. It's uh, oh shit. Again, Mario yeah. suicide. Uh, yeah, it's Mario and Luigi. They uh, all they cared about was pasta and uh, spaghetti. And the cartoon were... was good. That was a good cartoon. Did you guys watch the Super Mario cartoon? Oh, I loved it. I didn't. It's on USA Network. <laughs> it was uh, part of the four kids, uh, four kids afternoon <laughs> on Channel Forty Three. Which, I would love that job now, like to be the kids presenter for cartoons for Channel 43. What happened to that job? Fucking Cartoon Network took it. Mm -hmm. Well, that's the problem with the, the entertainment industry, is that it takes over your life. So you, uh, oh, okay. Oh, uh, see, so. yeah. Uh, you can do it from there, though. If, yeah, you can do it from that side. There you go. There you go. You can make it. You got it. There you go. Oh, they said fuck gravity and fuck physics. Oh, yeah. You're on the moon. <laughs> ah, okay. Damn it. You know what? I was going to bitch about something, and he just made it make sense. <laughs> like, yeah, so the, the, the ground he jumps off of, he can't jump with it a little bit. Also, you got to be a fucking frog. You got to be a frog the whole time. All right. Let's see what's in here. Look at them still keeping That soundtrack old. was bomb. What? I loved it. Oh, that we just saw. Oh, he's like the little mushroom head people. Goombas, right? Goombas, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, they're too stupid to realize that you're not you. <laughs> okay. Okay. This is interesting. Okay. You're supposed to jump on top of that, or are you just like going to get I think tall? I gotta like build myself up to jump. Ooh. No, oh. that didn't help. Uh -oh. <laughs> Can you climb back on top of your old selves? Oh. Oh, oh shit. Gotta start over. Oh, 
Okay. You be. How many people are watching me lose at video games now? Five. Nice. Hi, everybody. Hey. Are any of them teenagers with uh, problems? None of them are in the chat, which means they're on their phones. Uh, which means they're watching. I noticed probably. that when I was watching from home. Like, the phone is the only option that allows you to chat. But still, uh, you, you can can't chat on the web? Join in the fun or... Chat uh, can't chat on the web? Or tweet. Uh, chat, 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 my chat. Yeah, you can probably chat on the <laughs> web. You know? Is there At Tim Cornette USA. Well, I don't have my my thing at John Bruton WTF or, or Twitter whatever, whatever yours at is. Yeah, Twitter Russell MC. Yeah, tweet out if you have tweet uh, you twat Twitch. If you have any questions for John, because <laughs> you got to think it's a lot of teenagers. Yeah, John's filling up for Wilson, who is not uh, doing a good job plugging the show while he prepares for a pressure fest this weekend. Oh, you got a show um, like a um, pizza money. Oh. Oh, oh yeah. pizza money brought to you by Goombas. Okay, I've already used up uh, two of my hits, so that's not great. I'll just stay out, stay out of the range of that bad boy. Make him run uh, faster. Uh, whoa. Uh, uh. What was that? The sound effects. For yeah. Oh, I was just threw me off a little bit. All right. Cause I'm, 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 I'm kind of high up here now. You jump. Oh yeah, get get him, get him. Oh. oh. You. So you need one more or something? <sighs> I think yeah, I think you gotta hit him like three times. You just gotta jump That's on the Mario over standard, over right? Like for bosses. Uh, Jumping his head three times. Uh oh. You know what? I would like this. Uh, like, I would like this show to be like where teenagers whose fathers have abandoned them <laughs> come to us for advice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I'll tell you what got me on this is that because I'm doing that dog training podcast, so that put a lot of like alpha male shit in my queue. And a lot of these kids need advice. No, it's like Love Line. Oh. You remember that? I remember Love Line. I never thought it was really live, though. It was. I'm sure there was a producer. Yeah, I think it I mean, was. It's like radio. It's like radio. Yeah, you know, there's. It's there's... Ahead of its time, I'll say that. It's fun. Love so whoever Mario gets his hat on is who he takes over? Yep. Okay. Look at that new feature. That, it's the magic. Uh, that hat is named Cappy. Oh, he man. has eyeballs. There's a ghost. It's a ghost hat. You're trying to solve, like, the mystery of his death or something like that? Avenge his death? Right? Oh. Uh, his sister has gotten kidnapped. Uh, he's using his sister to kidnap Princess Peach. Seems excessive, uh, who, uh, if you ask me. I think we were playing this with, with Kate Hogan. So. Yes, Kate. Past guest, terrible marking person. Oh, wow, Lee Honeycutt. Oh, was Lee Honeycutt watching? He waved. Hey, or whatever. Lee. He is I feel funny. like Lee is like a more mysterious person to most people but i actually see him pretty frequently oh yeah yeah where cool. do you see him uh at my house we uh we hang out sometimes he's my buddy oh well, tell him i said hey i will he's a cool dude oh my god subject to jim twos and ramon rivas documentary uh make fun Oh, that's right. Oh, I think that's on, on Amazon. On Amazon. Did I see that? That's right. It's on Amazon. Really? Yeah. That's dope. That's how I met Don Pavlish. Oh, really? Yeah, he worked on it, and I went to the premiere. And then I and then we started working together after that. Yeah, I remember, because there was like an impromptu like after party for the screening at my house. I think I went to that. And it was like... 
that sounds terrible, but it actually kind of worked out. Like, it was like a crowdsourced party, and like, there was enough for everybody, enough food, enough booze, everybody just like, BYOB'd enough for everybody that didn't. Uh, and everybody left at a reasonable time and didn't leave a huge mess. So good job, guys. <laughs> that actually kind of tells you how good the audience was at that yeah. time. Where they'd like just show up at your house and have it not be a problem. Well, yeah, I don't know if you could really pull that same magical trick off. No, I wouldn't try it. This is funny because we're all concentrating for him to actually get on top of this thing and knock it down again. Uh, this is... This is going to end in... Jump! Ah! Oh. Motherfucker! God! He threw his hat out of anger, and I felt that. <sighs> we can give it up. Yeah. We can call it. Well, we saw the darker side. We saw the coolness. The hat is a thing. They've, updated, they've changed Mario around to have a hat that he can now change people. He's like, a, it's a superhero thing. Yeah, it's a, it's a great game. So so the Switch, you can also do the apps like Netflix and stuff too. Uh, just Hulu so far, but they, they promise uh, Netflix is coming. Wow, Netflix didn't give it up yet? Yeah, it's a little weird. I don't know why Hulu would work. Good night, everybody. Good night.